Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. It is Mothering Sunday, so it is Mother's Day today. Uh, so it is one of my most favourite times of the year. I absolutely love celebrating my parents. I love, whether it be Christmas, whether it be Easter, whether it be a birthday, Mothering Sunday, Father's Day, all of those incredible times. I just love it where the family get together, we get to celebrate mum, we get to celebrate dad, my dear nan. Um, yeah, so it's been absolutely lovely. Over the weekend, it's been really magical for me. So just to give you a little bit of an insight what's been going on. So I've got three brothers. I've got uh, nieces and I've got nephews. And um, my mum's seen, uh, seen all my brothers and my sister-in-law. And, um, and that's been really, really lovely. And two of my nieces we've seen. And I have the privilege of living in the family home. Uh, so that's been really, really lovely. And um, Mum had lots of gifts and uh, flowers and yeah, it's really lovely to take the time to celebrate those important figures in our life. And I am the first to admit that how privileged and blessed I've been with family. I have the most incredible parents. I really, really do. They're best friends of mine. And um, on that parent table in my heart is my dear Nan. Now, it breaks my heart that my Nan is no longer with me. But she is with me here always. And she's up in heaven and she's watching over me. And I have faith that she is well and she's up there smiling over us all and um my nan very very magical lady with all my heart she's my absolute world and as i said i've been truly blessed in this life my mum we, we do everything together we're, we're always sort of putting the world to rights having those chats whether i'm needing that lift in life and i'm feeling a bit down or if it's celebrations something's gone amazingly well or achievements or a promotion mum and dad are always there throughout all of that um health wise Mum and dad are the first there always. Um, it is truly just sometimes in my prayers, because I, I am a faith. Faith is a huge, uh, huge thing with my life. Um, is a huge guidance in my life. And I will never, ever know how the Lord blessed me with such incredible parents. And do you know what? I sometimes, I'll be honest, I hold my hands up to think that I am not always grateful of that. And there are times where I slip up, and I think all of us do, that we don't appreciate what is right in front of us. And you know what? On a, on Mother's Day, it really, it really is a time uh, for me where I really actually get to think. Do you know? What? I don't just need a day. Of course not. Just to celebrate and how amazing and how lovely my mum is and how blessed I am. But it is really lovely to take just a time of the year just to make it all about those incredible figures in our life. So my mum my nan. Um, I've got a lovely grandma too. And um, yeah, so Mother's Day is very, very important. And I love to see my mum with that big smile on her face. We took her out with my oldest brother yesterday. We took her out for lunch yesterday. That was lovely with pictures. And um, we had Prosecco and we had some lovely food. And uh, it was lovely. Some lovely memories made. And I've got my niece downstairs actually now. She's just visited with my, uh, with my twin brother. So that's really lovely. Some gifts and flowers. So I've come up out the way just to let them enjoy some lovely time with, um, with my mum. And um, yeah, busy, busy time. And this morning, we, uh, my mum, myself, my uh, eldest brother, uh, we went to our crematorium where uh, my na my nan is, um, and we have a memorial bench for her. So we've got a a pink floral. My my nan's favourite colour was pink, and um, very very glamorous lady. Uh, and mum and nan are very very much the same. Growing up, honestly, I was in awe of their bond. Um, and yeah, a very emotional, very emotional day. Um, it really, really is. So we, we've been to the crematorium, and we've laid all flowers on my nan's bench and my grandfather and my dear nan's uh, grave. So um, that was tough. That was tough. It was lovely to have mum there. And I could see, but it was my mum's mum. So I could, you could just, I could just see. Because um, Mother's Day, I mean, years ago, nan would always come for dinner. And it would be lovely that my nan and my mum would be around the table. And, um, and all of that magic is still there. Of course, it's in here. It's in here. And you don't ever forget any of those magical memories. I am also very conscious that I am blessed and there are people out there who have a very different scenario. And for example, in my own family, my cousins, my dear, um, my, my auntie, uh, we lost her to cancer and she had three ch has three children. And I loved my auntie. Honestly, she was so much like my mum. And um, yeah, so I, I get that everybody... And it's heartbreaking that my aunt isn't here. And um, often sometimes in our local town centre and when we go shopping and things, I, I feel like I'm still going to bump into her. And um, again, very glamorous lady, very, very lovely, lovely, lovely lady. And um, it's hard. Of course, these things, these things happen to us in life. And um, 
It's important to celebrate when we can. And I think that's what I love about days like Mother's Day and Father's Day, that we get to put everything aside and we concentrate solely on those incredible people in our life. And we say, thank you for being there. Thank you for that inspiration. Thank you for your love. And you mean the world to me. And I think that's so important to say that because life is so fast paced now. And with everything going on in the world and the dreadful things we hear on on the news and what's going on in the world with wars and things. And so many people are being hurt and harmed. And you think, actually, do you know what? Sometimes, again, we miss what's right in front of us. That, For example, me, I get to wake up in the morning. I start work. I live in a family home. I work from home. And if I have a bad day or if I'm feeling unwell, mum's there to vent to, to talk to, and she will get me through. She'll lift me out of how I'm feeling. And do you know, it's just sometimes I take that for granted. Dad will come in and I've got him there to go through everything and to make me feel better. Um, and just the love of them. I grew up with so just the love of them both. And I was truly, truly blessed. And um, I'm a nan. Just wow. What a lady. As is mum. What a lady. Uh, so Mother's Day, incredible. And I get for some people, they haven't been blessed in that situation so much. Um, and people all go through difficult times. And I know people will celebrate Mother's Day slightly differently. It may be their grandmother uh, solely, and it may be an aunt, or it may be somebody who would like a mum to you, or it may be a stepmom. It's a day where it means a lot to people in so many different ways. For me, it's that magical that magical moment to encase what my mum means to me, my best friend, um, the person who gets me through, the person who inspires me, the person who gets me through on a difficult day, being blessed with the love of my mum and my dad and my dear nan on that parent table in my heart. So whether it's Mother's Day or Father's Day, I always celebrate all of them. So very, very magical. And I really do hope that you enjoy your Mother's Day. I really hope that, you know what, it doesn't have to be expensive. Um, it really, really doesn't. It's not about how much you spend. If you have nothing, you can always, there is always something to give. Your time, your love, make something special. It doesn't have to be expensive. It could be taking a moment to go for a really lovely special walk just with your mum, perhaps going for a cup of coffee. It could be watching a film, just you and mum, or you and your aunt, or you and nan. I used to love, Saturday morning used to almost be like story time by nan, before we used to go out in the morning, I used to stay with my nan growing up. And we'd have, we'd have, my nan would always make tea properly with, uh, like, as in cream tea. And um, nan would always just reminisce. And it was just so magical and so lovely. Didn't cost a penny, but just so many incredible memories. It's like with my mum. I enjoy nothing more than when I'm, I'm up very, very early in the morning, about half past five. And mum's always up about half four. And just before I start work, that snippet of time where I ask mum how she is. Mum will ask me how I am with my health problems and things. We put the world, world to right. Sometimes it's only 10, 15 minutes over a cup of coffee. And it's just, you know what? It's magic. I get to do the same with my dad in the evening, with my brothers, my sister-in-law, my nieces, nephew. Do you know what? It's those things which mean the world, and do you know what? They don't cost a penny. So, yeah, it's lovely to spoil somebody if you can, but you don't have to, my friend. You really don't have to. Spoil them with love. Spoil them with admiration, uh, with grace, goodness, and all those amazing things. So on that note, God bless you. I really, really hope that you enjoy an incredible Mother's Day um, and celebrate that important lady in your life. So God bless you. Thank you very much for being here and a very happy Mother's Day 2024. And my mum, if you're watching this, God bless you and I love you with all of my heart. And dear Nanny up above, I love you. <laughs> and um, yeah, thanks very much for sharing uh, this clip with me and uh, you enjoy your day. Until next time, God bless and I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.